Two minute, two minute warning to our forerunner sledge. Once again, a two minute warning to our first forerunner. Let in from start one. This is our first of four forerunners. Forerunner sleds, we don't give names and we don't give downtime. They're testing the timing equipment, testing the ice, making sure everything is in optimal condition and then nothing really moved since you know earlier today when we had our dual competition. Second of four forerunners into curve one. Coming down through cliff side.
in from start one. This is our third of four four runners. In the curve one. Coming down through club side. Through curves two and three. Coming in the curve four. And now sliding through the side run. This my, this guy. What's, What's up, up, brother? How are you? How you been? Good. Back. How you been? We're going. Yeah. Just yeah. Sliding. in the finish line. Just about five minutes. Five minutes to our first competitive play. Ready now. Final race of the BMW, IBSF, Bob Say and Skeleton World Cup season. We're in historic Lake Placid, New York from the new start building, looking down at the old finish straight just below us. And beyond that, the half, the bottom of the current track, open to in 2000 and still one of the toughest drivers tracks in the business. In a near blizzard now, we are ready for our four-man race, the final race of this season. 
Well, this Lake Placid track is going to be a real challenge for our four-man crews. 1,500 meters of ice and none of it straightforward. Need to have a big explosive start, get loaded over the brow and settled down into turn one. The old start record unlikely to be challenged. That dates back to 2005. Langer's track record to 2003. Out of corner one into two. Quiet here. Any mistakes will see you skidding away. Speed. Little tap on the wall on the left. Out of three is common. Then into the Devil's Highway. Five and six. Corner seven. And then this tough eight nine transition. Hard in a two man. Very hard in a four man. Big two pressure. Shady two. And down into the labyrinth. Corner 11. 12, 13, another tricky transition. And then out of Benham's Bend, corner 14, through the chicane, you go uphill over the outrun, back down the other side, into corner 17. Little right-handed kink, this is 18, then corner 19. Still going uphill here, through corner 20, avoid the walls and the finish line there under the arch. A long way uphill to finish the run. Francesco Friedrich is our World Cup points leader and barring disqualification and a total disaster, will take the Crystal Globe as he did in the two-man. But Emil Tsipoulis and Hansi Lochner are looking likely to be second and third. And they too will get a silver and a bronze Crystal Globe. Of our World Cup point scorers, of whom there have been 25 so far this season. Another couple of drivers, Timo Rona and Dave Veselink, also competed in the World Championships. We have 14 teams on hand here, as well as the regular World Cup. There is the Pan Am Championship to be decided, and featuring in that will be two US sleds driven by Frank Del Duca and Chris Horn, and the Canadian foreman of Taylor Austin. So whichever order they end up in, you would imagine Den Del Duca will be top of that pile. That's where the medals will go. Well, we start with Great Britain's Adam Baird. He's got debutante Callum Dixon on the sled with him. Two new sliders for Kim Jin Soo as well. And we have a 14 sled field, most of whom have relatively limited experience on this track. In fact, we do not have a past winner in the field. Getting the final four-man bobsleigh race of the season underway here in Lake Placid. Adam Baird with new boy Callum Dixon, Jens Huller in his second World Cup four-man, and Luca Williams on the back, who was in the two-man yesterday. Also his second race. It's Adam's second four-man World Cup for the Marines sergeant. First time here as a racer. He actually did his driver driving camp here back in 2019 post-season so he has seen the track before but at that stage it was definitely all about trying not to crash no former race winners in the field so there will be a first time Lake Placid winner today it's been a brilliant day so far for British bobsledding Adele Nicol and Kaya Plessy taking a silver medal in the women's competition this morning in a rented sled, Adam Baird and the boys now. Let's see what they can produce. Start 5-3-0. And down through Devil's Highway, cleanly through eight and nine. Got more weight in a four-man than in a two-man sled. Makes it easier to keep it in line, but when it does get out of control, it all pivots behind the front axle. There's a lot of weight swinging around nicely through the chicane. Not getting live speeds off the sled. Across the line. Where's he going to be? Had a tap out of 19 into 20. 55-98. Co Coach Sean Olsen there. On the left-hand side in the cap. Well, Adam finished 17th on his debut in Lillehammer in the four-man race there. And so, if he finishes this race, and it will be a personal best. Rented US sled. Is that an older Bodine? Not sure. 
Nice line through the chicane. Little tap tap. But not too much of a skid. All right, good first run. One more to go. Now then, Kim Jin Su with Kim Hyung Young in his third World Cup four man and two debutants, Park Jong Lee and Lee Kyung Jung behind him. Kim in his four man World Cup driving debut. 38 times he started World Cup races as a brakeman, predominantly for Won Yun Jong. 5 16 getaway. And on his two man debut in Altenburg, the last European race, he stunned everybody with a bronze medal winning run. Now he does know this track. It is. Original debut back here in December 2014 as a brakeman. But Kim Jong Young crashed them. He'll be hoping not to do the same on his debut as a driver. Returning to a track he knows well. Better speed than Adam, Adam Baird. 132.6. Across the line, 55-27. That's a good looking run. Little hard to judge this early in the heat where that's gonna put him. But Kim Jin Su is a big hope for the future for Korea. Since retirement of uh, Yon Woon Jong. They haven't had a top flight bobsled driver. Ooh, really hauled it off there in eight and nine. Wow! Haven't seen anybody roll off nine yet, but we nearly did. All right, first trip down for Kim. Next up, Frank Del Duca. 24th driving race for him in the World Cup. 12 on the brakes as well. He was six here in last season's race. Josh Williamson at two, Adrian Adams at three, Mania Mitchell at four. Josh in his 25th four-man World Cup race. Adrian Adams, his 36th, and Mania Mitchell, the new boy, in his 10th. Second season for Mania Mitchell. Josh Williamson made his debut in November 2017 in the NAC with Hunter Church. First race for Adrian Adams, NAC here in 2012. That was a two-man. Let's see what the boys have got in this NUSA sled. It's been quick so far this season. 5-12 getaway. A lot of noise at the start. Pretty clean through three. It's been a good season for Frank Del Duca. And he had four, four World Cup races in the four man. And they uh, broke the sled in the first of them. He was late eight to nine as well, wasn't he? Got the 13, got away with that. Let's see how it comes through this game. Second best speed, only 300 ahead of Kim Jin Su. This is going to be very close. 200 in it. If he avoids the wall, he'll still have the lead. He does avoid the wall, he does have the lead. 55-1-9. Williamson sits up immediately. Shauna Roebuck down there helping with the sled. She's been helping out with the coaching as well. All right, that's a good looking run from Frank Del Duca. There's Adrian Williams. Uh, Adrian Williams, Adrian Adams. Who's Adrian Williams? Wow. Again, like Kim, hauling it off eight to nine. And the sled very tippy toey through nine. That's the exit of Shady Two. Frank looking happy with that. Adam Amor next up for Germany, a World Championship bronze medalist. First race weekend here. Nick Stadelman at two in his third World Cup start. Eric Leipold in his second and Rupert Schenk in his sixth. And they were all together when they claimed the World Cup bronze medal in La Plan. 
This is a very different kettle of fish. Does not know this track well, Adam Amor. Didn't stop him having a great race yesterday in the two-man and a 5-0-9 start. Neat and tidy so far. Down through the Devil's Highway. Has Taylor looked at 8 9, so they go away from us. Well, that was a little tidier than the last couple of sleds, and as a result, best speed of all. Eight hundreds ahead of Frank Del Duca, creeping away. And this is on a track that he's not raced on before this year. Oh, huge skids. Kill their speed. Is he going to hang on to his lead? He is building his lead. Unbelievable speed from the FES sled across the line, 55-0-3. How do you get so sideways and not scrub it all off? He must be on a, a runner with a very small contact patch. Normally when these things get sideways, it really puts on the brakes. Came off eight nicely and on to nine pretty nicely. Oh, that sled does rock around with all that body weight inside it. And through the chicane, tiny little snag at the back bunk. Didn't steer out of it. So it just snapped sideways and then straight onto 17. So Adam Amor leads. Next up, Patrick Baumgartner of Italy. Amor's sixth World Cup start in four man. This is the 37th for Patrick. Made his debut in Winterberg in January 2014, but incredibly has not raced here before. Eric Fantazzini at two, Robert Mattia at three, and Lorenzo Bellotti at four. Very experienced crew. Fantazzini's 21st four man race. The chair 16 and the 31st for Lorenzo Bellotti. Made his debut in Altenburg in this number 2016 at the man on the back. Five fourteen. Only 500 off the leader. That gives Patrick Baumgartner a chance. But like Adam Amore, does not know the track well. Little bit of three for three, tap the wall, exiting three. Little skid down here in the Devil's Highway, all taking speed away. Eight and nine was pretty clean, but rattles the wall going into Shady Two. Best speed so far. Gaps out to 1500s, they're all late in 12. Gap continues to grow, 2300, second best speed behind Adam Amor. First to third is 16, first to fourth, 2,400. Third, rather, he's going to be fourth at the line. He is fourth at the line, 3,400's back. Again, that drive looked like somebody who's not intimate with the track. Late height in 12. Slap the wall into 13, all the bodies inside bouncing around as they were coming out of 14. And then down here, that's in the labyrinth again, sled rocking and rolling. All that sideways motion takes energy out of the sled that should be driving it forward. Adam Amor, the early race leader. Five down, nine to go. Marcus Trichel next up. Eighth place last season, his best in three World Cup races here. He did two NAC races in November 2019 as well. Slasher Stepan at two, Marcus Sammer at three, Christian Huber at four, joining Marcus Trichel in what is Marcus's 50th four man World Cup start. Christian Huber on the back, 32nd World Cup race. Marcus Sammer, 55th start in a four-man. He's at three. Sasha Stepan, 23rd World Cup four-man race. He's the man at two. Dreykel in his 50th four-man drive. 
Well, he'll be looking to improve on an eighth place finish from last year. He's got a very slender early lead. Oh, in danger, eight to nine. He's absolutely flying, though. Really hanging it out there. Building his advantage. This is not low risk, but the rewards be great. Second best speed, only 700. He's not going to leave at the line. Adam Amor will just about only double catch on the way up the hill. That's it. Amor should lead and does by only 500. Yeah, double tap up the hill, never a good thing. Wow, he was absolutely letting it fly. So 508 start. He outstarted Amor's crew. That is brilliant stuff from this quartet. I think Sasha Stepan, Marcus Samarin, Christian Huber on the back has really helped. But those two taps there, that steep uphill, just drag speed out of the sled. It's Katy Bile helping out down the bottom. Next up, Francesco Friedrich, our world champion and Olympic champion and four man. 88 four man World Cup race. He's had nine here, a podium in the last two only, and has never won in Lake Classic. 505 to get away. Last German winner, Max Art, 2015 and 2016. Before that, the previous German winner, Andre Langer. 2003 and in 2004. It has been a long, long time since a German has won here. Is today the day? It seems highly likely. Friedrich building his advantage. Looked in fantastic form yesterday from 1700s to 2300s up. Not quite as quick as Marcus Treichel down at the bottom or Adam Amor. But it doesn't matter. He built the speed early and leads by 2800s. Torsten Margis, Matthias Sommer, and Felix Straub, the crew, setting a 505 start. Well, I don't think anybody's ever going to get to the start, the 490 of Andre Lager. I know that Friedrich and the crew will challenge that next year if they can. But the rules were different back in the early 2000s. The sleds were different. The weights were different. Less weight in the sled, more weight in the crew. Make those starts faster. And the downtime, 53-67. Well, we're a second away from that, and this is hard, fast ice. Next up for the USA, Chris Horn with Jace Johnson in his second World Cup race. Hakeem abdul Sabour in his 27th. And Darius Joseph in his sixth. But for the driver, Chris Horn, it is a four-man World Cup debut on the front handles. Started 17 four-man races as a brakeman. But this is his first as a driver. Made his debut, of course, here in World Cup in December 2019's race with Jeff Godbois on the front of the sled. Let's see what he can produce. 5 16 get away. That's a good start. Little Rocky off one. Clean out of two. Garage Joseph on the back made his debut in Park Whitney, Utah in November 2023. The rest made their sliding debuts here in the Classic World. With a skin and attack, making speed out of the sled. Six plus start. They're out the seventh place at the moment. 4,500s back. Third best speed. Can he bring it back? Got to be clean uphill through 19 and 20, and he is fifth of the line, 55 26. Ahead of Kim Jim's crew, Patrick Baumgartner and Adam Baird. Top six finish on his debut would definitely be worth writing home about for Chris Horn. And he is behind Frank Del Duca by seven hundreds. 
Late exit out of 12, really flopped there down into 13. And the chicane, tiny tap on both sides. Not too bad to set you up for 17. For Switzerland, our ninth sled is Snedrick Follador, raced here last season, do a World Cup personal best of fifth place. He's got Omar Fergula at two in his fourth World Cup start, Dominic Hoogschmidt at three in his 15th four-man world, and Kantan Giyar at four in his fifth four-man World Cup race. Sixteenth four-man World Cup start for Cedric Bolador. Let's see if he can match last year's fifth place finish. In and down from the boys, neat start, 5.19. Well, that is the eighth fastest start. And he is going to have to drive himself into contention. Little late off two. Tiniest attacks out of three. That will help keep the speed on board. Third best velocity. Don't forget, they have the eighth fastest start only. Whoa. Wild out of seven, late through eight and nine. And there's and paying for it. Only the eighth best speed now. He is up the seventh on the splits, ahead of Patrick Baumgartner of Italy. Swiss have shipped their own sleds out. Third best speed. But he's out to eighth place, losing ground behind Baumgartner. Can he drive himself back up to seven? Yes, at the line, 55-3-6. So Nicola Mariani there alongside their coach, Rick Peter. All right. Cedric Follador seventh at the line and a tenth away from fifth place his previous best here. That was late, wasn't it? Boy, oh boy. That was the exit of seven, and so he was very late, eight into nine. Nearly in trouble on seven. And here's 17, getting into the heart. <laughs> Wild stuff on this hard, fast, fast Lake Placid ice. Next up, Emil Sapoulis, 14th four-man World Cup race here. Hasn't been out of the top six since February 2023, when he was fourth in Innsbruck, and has been in the top six ever since. First time here for him, Duff Springers in his 65th World Cup start, his fourth year in a two-man, in a four-man rather. Mark Smegnis at three. His 57th World Cup start in four-man alone. His 110th World Cup race for Latvia. And Chris Lindenblatt's in the back. His 18th four-man World Cup race. His 20th World Cup race in total. So, so much experience in this sled. They get away in an amazing 5-0-6. But, Nipolis, new to this track. Out of Shady Do, fourth best speed. Second fastest start, they're in third at the moment. Second best speed, oh, late! Gets away with it. Taps twice coming up the hill and across the line, down to six. Well, that was a very good looking run all the way to Shady. And then below there, it kind of got a bit wild and out of shape. Look at this. Whoa. Haven't seen anybody roll off seven, but we very nearly did there. And look at nine as well. Sled inverted almost. Oh, mm -mm. playing fast and loose with gravity doesn't always work. Francesco Friedrich leads after the first 10 sleds. Seaman Friedley for Switzerland. 
68th World Cup start for Friedley, his 23rd as a driver. Dominic Schleffer is behind him at two. Luca Rolli at three. Andreas Haas, who was on the two man yesterday, at four. Fifth time here in Lake Placid for Seaman Friedley, but only his second as a driver. Finished in ninth place last year. Four-man bronze in Altenburg a few weeks ago. 5-12, get away. Now, this has all the hallmarks of a rental rather than a Swiss Titius. So, let's see if he's going to be gentle. Only the 10th best velocity of the 5th best start and again. He nearly rolls it, 7-8-9. Little late everywhere. 12 to 13, gets away with it. Through the chicane. Two hard hits, those were in little taps. Only the ninth best speed as they come out through the snowstorm. And at the line. A wild ride, but fourth place. 55-12. Wow. <laughs> Dramatic stuff from the last couple of sleds, and look at this. All of the body weight rolling the sled around. Oh. That can't have felt good. It's like a bumpy landing in an aircraft. You're just sitting there going, get us down, get us down, get us down. 12th of our 14 sleds of Latvia's Jakobs calendar, his 13th four-man World Cup start, but he has not raced here. Finished 13th in the two-man yesterday. Laris Kaufmanns at two in his 24th four-man World Cup. Dubs Kaufmanns at three in his 12th. And new boy, Maris Klava, at the back in his seventh four-man World Cup race. Laris Kaufmanis made his debut here in December 2019's race. Took a silver with Oscar Kibermanis. That was the last Latvia medal on this track. Canada starting 5-16. I don't think they chose the crew because their surnames all start with K, but just the fact they do. Having two brothers in the middle probably helps that a little. Oh, little late off seven. He gathers it up for eight and nine. But the speed is going away. Only 11 fastest. Ninth on the splits. And not a tidy looking chicane. Again, just a touch late everywhere. Timings. Not great. Across the line in 11th place. Well, Emma Tsipoulis tied for seventh with Kim Jin Su. And Jakobs Kalenda in 11th spot. 1500s behind Patrick Baumgartner. That is a bridgeable gap if he tidies up. Even a couple of these loose exits, and Baumgartner doesn't manage to, but look at the back of the sled moving around. Driver's doing his best to lead it. It's not really keen on following. Yeah. Now, 21 years of age, plenty of time to gain experience. I imagine Nancy Lockner probably looked like that at 21. Now at 33, he should look a little smoother. His 59th four-man World Cup start with Florian Bauer, Joshua Tasha, and Georg Fleischhauer on the back of the sled. Four previous World Cups here in four-man, only one medal for Hansi. Silver in December 2019. A dozen four-man wins in his career. 5-0-2, the getaway. Great starting from this team. That is fantastic. Fastest of all. 
300s quicker than Francesco Friedrich. Now, Friedrich beat him to gold yesterday and to the Crystal Grove. And up until two years ago, you'd have said that Lochner was very much a four-man exponent. His two-man game has come on so, so strongly, though, that that's no longer the case. He's equally adept in both. Nice to game, but only the ninth best speed. He's a tenth back. He's not going to lead this first heat. He can't leave himself too much clear air to Friedrich or he'll never get him. 1700s back. 54.92. I'm not sure if Friedrich is going to give away all of that advantage. It wasn't a bad looking drive at all. A little late on there. Look at the way the sled digs up through the snow. And again, rocking off seven into eight and nine. Not easy transitions. <laughs> All those upper runners are just free of the ice. Oh, there's big deal Fleischauer with Hansi. And our final sled in this first heat, Canada's Taylor Austin, his ninth four-man World Cup race. Shaq Murray-Lawrence behind him in his tenth. And then Anthony Couturier and Devon McEwen, both in their second four-man World Cup races, having made their debut in Altenburg, where they crashed. Sixth place here in last season's race. Let's see if Taylor Austin can get in amongst the North American sleds. Van Gelduga sixth and Chris Horn in seventh. Well, they start 5.24, second slowest start. Raced in the two man yesterday, as did teammate Pat Norton. Just Taylor here in the four-man. Best speed so far. Well, if that's right, then the gap should start coming down from 4,200s. Out to 43, didn't get a kind tap coming through the chicane. But he is climbing the order from 13th at the start. Is he going to be challenging Chris Horn? Yes, he is. He is in fifth place. He is ahead of Friedli, Del Duca, Horn, and the rest. And only 400s behind Marcus Trichel in fourth. 900s out of the medals, Taylor Austin. That speed did not lie. I have to say, I did question it in my mind. But he was cleaner out of seven than the last few sleds we've seen. And eight and nine didn't look so precipitous. And through the chicane, now if he hadn't had this unfortunate tap and sideways moment, he would have been in fourth and hot on the heels of third. <laughs> Taylor Austin, leading Pan Am driver at the moment. One more Let's to go. go. So, the game is on for the medals, but maybe not for gold. Who knows? 1700s separate the top two, but our first heat leader is yesterday's race winner, Francesco Friedrich. Looking to break a 12-year winless streak on this track. It is the only track that he has raced on that so far has denied him a gold. It's the 13th run, the one that does it, the 13th four-man race. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Hansi Lochner in second, Adam Amor in third, but that battle for the podium, Marcus Treichel, Taylor Austin, Seaman Friedley, they are all in there fighting. They're not too far ahead of Frank Del Duca, Chris Horn, and the tie between Kim Jin Su and Emil Tsipoulis, only just ahead of the Follador Baumgartner battle. Jacob's calendar and Adam Baird will be the first couple of sets out of the shed when we come back at 3.30 Eastern, 19.30 PMT.
2013 CEP for the final slide of the season. We'll see you then. Bye for now.